R.I.P. Tomato. You know, it's really weird to think that Thursday, so in like three days, I'm going to walk to my car for the last time after practice and just get in here and drive away. Like, after the hundreds and hundreds of days that I've come here and like gone out and rode and then come back and I don't know, it's like, I can't believe I'm going to do that for the last time this week in three days. On another note, I did get a new blister today, <laughs> but that one right in the middle of my palm, she's having a good time. No, really. <laughs> Guys, we're done for the day. We, we're back. We have the boat right in the bay. We did six by one minute at base rate, so our base rate is 34. Um, and it and it felt good. Like it felt really good. So I had a lot of fun today. Here's Megan, my pair partner. <laughs> hey, you guys. So I'm back home. I had breakfast already, but um, it's about 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna start making lunch because I'm kind of hungry right now. I want to make a crispy tofu sandwich because I'm just kind of trying to use up the stuff that I have before I leave for New Jersey this weekend. So I have a baguette, I have some tofu in the fridge, I have microgreen sprouts, and I have some like cherry tomatoes. So I think that's what my sandwich is going to be today. <laughs> It's time for the taste test. So gotta clip my hair up first. I already know all of these tomatoes are gonna fly out the sides. So yummy. The aioli really makes it. You should try it. So I just finished running some errands on campus. Um, I had to pick up my cap and gown because I'm graduating and I picked up some KN95 masks because they were giving them out. So graduation haul. My car is probably not the best place to do this, but um, I got the standard robe. You probably know what that looks like. We have the hat, the cap. Okay, so this is the Eleanor Roosevelt College tassel and then there's the 2022 tassel. And then last but not least, we have the UC San Diego Stool, um, class of 2022. And then the masks, they gave me a pack of five. 
The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to Costco because I'm getting a Costco membership today. Okay, back home. All done running errands for the day. Um, I got my Costco card. So excited to have this. Also, um, I got a picture, which is very exciting. And then I went to Michael's to get some beads for something that we're doing tomorrow, which is gonna be very fun. I also think I'm gonna cook something yummy for dinner. I think I might make some tomato pasta with caramelized onions, so that'll be good. Um, I think the tomatoes were in the oven for a little too long. So I'm gonna eat one of these right now. Okay. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. We're having, we're having a, sex. yes, we're making bracelets <laughs> and we're watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys everyone's bracelets. So, okay, these ones are, these three are mine. So this one says Stroke, this one says Fast One, this one says Ben Bassity. So me and Kaylin made like matching ones. So we always, at practice for our last piece, we'll always say Last One, Fast One. So she has one that says Last One and I have one that says Fast One and they match, which is really cute. And it's also and our last one. this is our last race. So this is why we made them. Yes. Um, this is Kaylin's, it says Balin. Um, <laughs> this it. one is Megan's and it says Ging and so true. And then, and then we have Began. Also um, Megan. <laughs> Nicole's says Bicole and she has one that says Big Scent. And then Peyton has one that says, okay, this one says Meg because she's a middle four. And, or middle pair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then this one says Pee, Pee and then two because she's two seed. All right, last day, here we come. The coxswain of our VA got COVID. Our coxswain for the four got moved to the VA and we have a new coxswain now. So we are welcoming Sam into our boat. Definitely threw me off guard, but I also honestly feel like after everything that we've gone through in the past two years, it's just kind of like, what's one more thing? Like, we'll get through it. It's going to be okay. We've had to be resilient over the last few years. So since all of that happened, I was kind of just like not really thinking about the fact that today was my last practice on the water. And so I realized like the last 10 minutes, I was like, like, this is my last time that I'm going to like be rowing on Mission Bay. Like I totally forgot. So I had my last few strokes on Mission Bay today. It felt good. Like I think our practice went really well, especially considering the circumstances. We felt, we felt fast. We felt good. Like I'm very excited for our race. So now that we have a new coxswain, um, I am going to Nicole's place to make a new bracelet for our new coxswain so that she can uh, join the bracelet party. Okay, I'm back home, um, made the bracelets, and then I went to the grocery store to pick up some food for the flight tomorrow. Let me show you the bracelets. Okay, so we made one that says Bamantha, and we made one that says nice cox, hee <laughs> hee. I'll show you the food that I got. So um, I got this uh, curry chicken salad against this bean salad. So you know I love a bean salad. I got this passion fruit yogurt. I got these chocolate covered plantain chips, and then I got these um, kettle chips. Hey you guys, the day is here, we're doing this thing. Um, I have my bags, bag of food, duffel bag. We have to meet at the bus at 4.10 a.m. for a rapid test. Guys, guess what time I woke up this morning? 3.20, that's like the middle of the night.
Hey everyone, we're gonna go to the practice course. Uh, today is Saturday. Um, the weather is not so great, you can tell through the window. But um, this morning we had a great breakfast. We had like eggs, sausage, um, bacon, and then we had a build your own acai bowl station. And the acai bowls were like amazing. There was like all these different bases and toppings. Like it was luxurious. And then I went out with my parents to this awesome market with all these different like all these different food places it was super cool um i got some thai food for lunch um, had a couple bites of that and i'm gonna finish it later oh, i'll show you guys the course when we get there borrowing some brand new oars and look at how fancy these handles are so beautiful i think so oh yeah it looks like their colors Guys, we just got back from our practice. How'd you feel, Kaylin? Um, cool. <laughs> yeah, it was um very rainy. I'm soaking wet. My hat is like dripping. We had so much water in our boat. Um, yeah. But it was fun to get out there. It was fun to get out there. Okay. Resilience. I am amazed and inspired by all five of you. Regardless of weather conditions, lineup changes, or any other changes come your way, time and again you have proven that you can handle it all. Jen and Kaylin, go fuck shit up for your last race ever. Megan, Peyton, Shmi, <laughs> Sam, pull hard and go fast for yourselves and each other. This is what you've all been training for, so leave every morsel of power on the course and have fun. I miss all of you already, and know that Andy and I will be screaming cheers from our couch as you zoom down the course. Oh, Hashtag yeah. time to get hyped. Love, Emmy. Set for a pop check. I said Thanks, Emmy. We, we loved your love. We love you. So cute. <laughs> Today's the day. We're here. We're racing, and it's the last race ever. I'm here with Jesse. Oh, <laughs> I missed her jump. Um, Jess is also vlogging, so go check out her channel because she's probably gonna make a better video no. than me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, there's like a couple boats launching because there's um, some Ivy League races today. I think the Ivy League conference is before us and then we have RCAA championships after. Can't believe it's the last one. It's gonna go by so fast. I just, I just know it's gonna go by so fast. Uh, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. Oh, look at our bracelets! Last one, last one! Full cheer? Yeah, throw them off. You sign us In two, one, two! Yes, yes! I see you on the other side. <laughs> hey guys, it's we're done. The race is done. Um, we're about to start the award ceremony. The tent is over there. I have my Panera sandwich. And uh, yeah, it feels weird. It's like freedom, but it's also sad at the same time. Like this is really it. You're Jesse's uh, recording me too. Definitely some tears, but happy tears. And I'm I'm really proud of our boat. Uh, we we went through a lot. We got waked out during the race, and uh, we just had to, we just had to go with it. So I'm really proud of us, uh, Megan, uh, Megan, Sam, Kaylin, and Peyton. Super proud of you guys. I love you so much. Um, yeah, let's go, Haley. Hi guys, I have an update for you. Um, we're stuck in Chicago. Uh -oh. The trip wasn't fun enough. I know. Um, this has been a little bit of a crazy trip. So we got stuck on the runway because we didn't have enough fuel for our trip. We basically missed our connecting flight. They left like five minutes before we came. Um, so we currently don't know what we're gonna do. We might stay the night here. We might find a flight, except there's not really a flight for us to take. Um, so I guess we'll see how we're gonna get back to San Diego. 
us on the original flight we sprinted can you believe that we ran so fast i'm glad i'm in shape because oh my god I um sprinted those steps like it was nothing. no literally i'm glad i'm in shape because i couldn't have done that out of season oh i'm out of shape um that was so hard i'm so tired hey everyone so i'm here to wrap up this video that was the end of the vlog footage that i had from our trip to CAA. So we did end up making it back to San Diego in one piece on the day that we had planned to get back. That was the end of my college rowing career and it ended just like that. So I just want to say a few words um, before I wrap this video up. I'm just super grateful that I got, got to have an awesome season of racing this year. I think for me races are the place where I can just show up and it's like the culmination of all the hard work and everything that's so that can be so difficult about rowing um you just kind of show up trust the process and row down the race course um i guess there's no other way to say it but i guess i just think about the fact that you know i started this journey like four years ago just as like a little freshman i feel like i was so like i didn't know anything back then and i was kind of crazy just to show up and try something new and kind of dedicate a lot of my life to this sport for the past four years. So I guess I just want to say like a few thank yous. I really want to thank all the people who were in my boat this year. So like Nicole, Sam, Megan, Kaylin, Peyton, Sydney, Lily, Clara. There was, there was a lot of you guys in the four this year. Um, and a huge thanks to Coach Charlotte for literally being the best coach ever. Just, I mean, you're so special. You really like, you really got us through the season. You helped us become better. Like what could we, what more could we ask for from a coach? Huge thank you to everyone who's watching, whether you've been watching for a few years, whether you just found this video or if you're watching far in the future. I really appreciate that there's like anyone who cares enough to click and watch and who loves the sport or who's interested in the sport like I am. Um, you guys inspire me. That's really cheesy, but it's true. I don't know. Like I, I love making videos to look back on, but I also love that there are like people out there who want to watch it. So I appreciate you all. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye.